So you just keep getting stuck on problems when you're coding, huh? Don't worry, I got a couple of solutions for that. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco. And today I'm gonna share three little tips that I use personally whenever I get stuck on code so that, you know, hopefully you can implement them and you can get unstuck yourself. Yeah, because nobody likes to be stuck on a problem. It's like the worst. It's the worst thing. So the problem with us developers is that we're constantly problem solving, right? And we're always just essentially using code to fight off our little problems that we're that we're dealing with, whether it's, you know, building the app or something specific in the code or whatever it is. We're always problem solving, right? And sometimes you're just not equipped with the solution right away, right? Sometimes you get stuck. Sometimes you don't know what's the best way to implement something, you know? Sometimes you just can't figure something out quite, quite simply. You just can't figure it out. So one of the first things that I do whenever I run into this type of situation is I walk away. Later, I'm out of here. I quit. Maybe not to that extent, but I do walk away. Just I have to get away from the problem. So what I'll actually do is whether it's, you know, fit, like moving my body or moving myself in the code, I just have to walk away from wherever the problem actually exists. So one of the things that I like to do is I'll just go for a walk. You know, uh, maybe I'll get up, I'll walk around, maybe get a little bit of fresh air and just being able to walk away and let my subconscious mind kind of work on it will definitely help, you know. Um, sometimes I walk away, maybe it's like at the end of the day and, you know, I, I'm forced to walk away and what will happen is like maybe the, the next morning I'll like figure out the answer in the shower, you know, just that subconscious mind and, and shampoo and stuff like that, I guess, work really well together. But essentially you just need to get your mind off of it so that your subconscious mind can actually start working on the problem and then what will probably end up happening is you'll see a different perspective of how you might approach it and you're going to, you know, come up with an idea of, oh, you know what? I should try this. So if you just walk away and you actually like remove yourself from the computer physically, that might help. You can also do this if you just move to a different spot in your code, if you just start working on a different feature and you're like, you know what? Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this particular feature. You know, you might have a deadline or whatever, but what you want to do is you just want to you want to keep moving. You want to keep making progress. So if you end up going to a different feature, you start working on that different feature. Once again, subconscious mind is kicking in and it's going to actually help you solve that problem. And then you might come up with a different way of figuring it out. The second easiest way to get unstuck that I personally use is I actually write out the problem, like physically, like I have to physically write it out because I can do a whole lot of stuff in my head and sometimes I'll just sit there for a while just thinking about how to fix this problem. And that actually works pretty well for me most of the time. But when I can't figure it out, when the problem's just like, I can't figure it out in my head. I actually start writing it down. Now you can do this on a paper. I actually do it on my iPad Pro. So for me, it kind of looks like this. I'm just drawing on it and I'm, I'm doing like a square there and a circle there and, and all this other stuff. And what that's going to do is it's actually helping me visualize what's going on and what parts of the problem I'm actually trying to fix because if I keep thinking about it, what, what will happen is I'm going to end up losing track of some important piece of information because I just have so much going on in my head. But when I'm actually relaying that information to a paper or to an iPad in this case, then I can, you know, free up some of my good old fashioned Kilo Loco processing power and I can start focusing on the different parts of the solution and I can actually start seeing how it's all going to fit together. So just write it down and that usually can give you a better perspective on what you're actually trying to accomplish. And then the last thing that I usually do, and this kind of goes with, with writing it down, it's uh, just breaking down the problem into multiple problems, like smaller problems. You just break it down and you have to approach it with, okay, what's the first thing that needs to happen? Like, I know that there's a way to solve this problem and there's a couple of things that I gotta do 
but what's the very first thing that I got to do? And this is actually a huge problem for a lot of beginner developers. The people that reach out to me the most are people that can't break down this larger problem. Like they'll, they'll, they'll have this entire thing that they're trying to accomplish and they, they just pretty much say, I can't do this. I don't know how to do this, but they don't understand the concept of just being able to break it down and being able to break it down is just as simple as asking yourself, okay, what is it that I'm trying to accomplish? What is it that I'm trying to accomplish? Okay. I'm trying to accomplish this. So if I'm trying to accomplish this thing, what is this thing made up of? And then once you, once you're able to say, okay, this thing that I'm trying to accomplish is made up of this piece, that piece, and that piece, you know, then you can start accomplishing breaking down the entire problem and actually finding the correct solution by just, you know, taking, fixing this part, fixing this part, fixing this part, or, and then just putting those parts together. And then that's when you have your full solution. So if you just simply break down the problem, you're going to see that a lot of things aren't as hard as they seem. It's usually just a bunch of small problems all clumped into one giant problem. So those are the three main ways that I usually get myself unstuck. Now, um, this is almost always working for me. It's very rare that I find myself stuck on a problem that I can't solve for more than a day. Usually by the end of 24 hours, I've figured out a problem. It's it. I usually never hang on to a problem for that long. And it's because these three simple tips that I mentioned. But I'm sure that there are a whole lot of ways that a person can get unstuck from a problem, especially when it's when it comes to coding. So if you have any other suggestions on how to get unstuck when you're, you know, you're running into a wall with this piece of code or or this feature that you're trying to implement, let me know in the comments below and I can add that to, you know, my my work style and then everybody else can see uh, whatever it is that you're contributing what what your tip is so that they can implement it into their their work style as well and we can all move up baby so that's going to be it for today guys thank you for stopping by and make sure you head over to kilolococom slash membership check out that membership you get all access to all my courses plus an invite to slack so that's going to be all thanks again go out there and keep coding passionately